Hey everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers and another episode of The Anatomy of a Mattress. We do these so you guys can see what's inside a bed and do a little bit of education and um, yeah, just to see why this mattress costs this much or how does it compare with other mattresses. And today we are gonna pick apart the Ikea Sultan latex mattress. And again, I do latex from um, just because we see a lot of these companies having these, they call themselves latex mattresses. And we find out that there's very little latex in here. This is a very good, um, if you want a latex mattress or a mattress with latex in it, but they're on a budget, the Sultan was a good way to go. And it was very inexpensive considering, you know, it had latex in there. But um, yeah, I mean, what we found, they, they don't hold up as long as a typical latex mattress. But for the money, it's not, not that bad of a bed. So let's pick this apart and see what's inside this mattress. The good thing about this mattress is that it had a zipper in the pillow top part and made it a lot easier to get in there. And you can see what's inside if you need to change anything out. That was pretty cool. So here is the cover. And like I said, in every episode, there's three parts to a mattress. You got the cover, you have the comfort layers, and then you have the support layer. So those are the three main components of a mattress. And if one of those pieces are bad, the whole mattress will be affected. So you don't want a weak link in any of those. So this has your basic polyester top on it with a little bit of a fiber quilting on the inside. And then on the top layer, where most of the comfort comes from, we're gonna have, let's see what this is. This is the FR Barrier Sock. And here we go. We have about two inches of latex on the top layer, which it's not bad. It still has, you know, it's probably like a medium to medium soft firmness on it. It looks like it was Dunlop latex. And now let's go to the support layer. What was in the support layer? So. This is more of a cotton and rough ticking. Not much stretch to it, but polyester on the outside. And then on the outer part and the base layer, we have polyurethane, just regular polyurethane foam. And let's see what's inside. I think there's springs on the inside here. So I'm gonna open up this foam encasement. This looks like it was a foam encased mattress. So after the, I don't know if you guys can see that, but after the foam encasement, inside the foam encasement, we have the pocketed springs, which with this border wire around it, which kept, kept the firmness. And then you have polyurethane on the top, right below the latex and right on top of the coils. So this one, you could kind of consider a hybrid mattress with latex and pocketed coils and the foam encasement. Not really a bad mattress for the price, but then again, it's, I would not consider it a latex mattress. And like I say in probably every episode that a mattress is only as good as the weakest link. If this part goes bad, which this is the weakest link, it's gonna affect the latex part. And, or the coils, if they're weaker coils, they're gonna affect the latex part. So again, just because it has latex, it have the best latex in the world, doesn't mean it's gonna be um, it's not going to last you as long as a, your traditional latex mattress. So this is the IKEA Sultan. I'm not sure what it retailed for when it was new in IKEA, but um, you know, I knew it wasn't that expensive. But again, I mean, not a bad bed, but not the highest quality latex mattress too. So hope this helped you guys. And if you guys are in your mattress shopping journey, don't forget to download our shop, uh, mattress shopping guide. 
I'm gonna set the link below and it'll give you tips on mattress shopping and make sure you don't do any mistakes when um, you're out looking for a mattress. All right, thanks for watching.